let's discuss about the major one of the major educational thinker Frederick Froebel. Frederick Froebel was born in Germany in a small village in 1782. As a child he was very much attached to nature. He was introspective by nature. When he was 23 he decided to become a teacher. In 1826, he published his famous book, The Education of Man, deals with his philosophy of life and education. Next, we leading with the Froebel's educational philosophy. There are three laws. Law of unity or principle of unity is the first one. Second one, law of development. Third one, law of human development. Law of unity. Here Froebel believed that unity amidst diversity. Doctrine of unity or interconnectedness. Interconnectedness means the state of being connected with each other. It is the basis. Means interconnectedness or doctrine of unity is the basis of Froebel's philosophy of education. Okay. Uh, second one. Law of development. Here, man has the innate quality or the natural quality to develop spiritually, mentally and physically. The source of the energy required for this development is everlasting unity. Which one? God. The ultimate unity. Third one, law of human development. Here, we all know for a physical growth, there are four stages. Infancy, childhood, youth and maturity. But if a person had his requirements of feeling, body, mind, during his infancy, childhood, growth, childhood, youth and maturity, he had a properly developed person. Next, a major section, which one is Froebel's philosophy of life. Froebel's philosophy of life gets reflected in his educational philosophy, which included in his aims of education, curriculum and teaching methods. In aims of education, according to Froebel, it is the realization of faithful pure and even holy life. Also, education should guide man to unite him with God. According to Froebel, education is the all-round development of a child. To achieve this aims of education, he recommend the following curriculum. Curriculum consists of religion, natural sciences, and uh, uh, manual work, craft work, languages. Once again, I tell you, curriculum consists of natural sciences, religion, languages, craft work, and manual work. Manual work means a physical work done by humans through machines and all. Okay, next one is methods of teaching or teaching methods. Here, the method designed and used to a kindergarten system. Kindergarten, it is derived from a German word which means children's garden. Children's garden, okay. Here, self-activity, play and child's needs and nature discussing. The school is the nursery of future citizens and the teachers are the gardeners of this nursery. Why he called, why Froebel called as teacher is like a gardener. Should be a gardener. Why he tamed it as the teacher should be a gardener. Because you know, good gardeners are optimistic and patient. They enjoy they, they enjoy their growth with to bloom and developing growth.
they enjoy they means teachers or gardeners enjoy uh, the growth of plants which bloom developing and his growth also and its growth also and uh, uh, next is teachers we discussing teachers are the gardeners okay school is the society in miniature miniature means a small very small painting and uh, uh, gardeners also one point is there gardeners which helping for to those plants which are struggling or not thriving they plays a major role gardeners playing a major role to those plants giving a special loving care for to those plants which are struggling and not thriving likewise we we are teachers and we made a good gardener to our uh, children okay next one the teaching procedure in kindergarten system or according to froebel the teaching procedure may be conveniently divided into two first one teaching through songs second learning through gift teaching through songs froebel prepared a book called mother play and nursery songs in 1843 the book consists of 50 songs they each song having three parts first one a motto second a verse providing with music and third one it's a uh, lyric or a picture illustrating music and ends the three parts of a song okay next uh, the each song having a purpose or an intention for making their children understanding clearly also they construct their knowledge from its experiences and also they need their physical mental and emotional growth and second one learning through gifts gifts are here uh, froebel saying gifts are educational toys and the activities connected with educational toys are occupations okay that's enough today's section is over thank you and thank you a lot